What up? Jeff here with all my Bitcoin renegades. And um, before we really get into the video and what's going on, I just kind of want to show you a little bit of my Bitcoin that's over here um, in my Garda wallet. Now, in a video that I've done before, I talked to you guys all about the different wallets that I use. And this is one of my favorite ones besides Trust Wallet. It's called Garda Wallet. G-A-U-R-D-A. Garda, like the guard, the National Guard, except with an A at the end, guard a uh. So, um, this is my wallet over here. I have like 58 bucks, it's not a lot, but I always keep a little bit of Bitcoin in different wallets that I use, just in case. You never know when you could use a little Bitcoin, you never know when you could use a little bit of XRP, um, and I only have 20 in here right now, that's because, um, all of my Ripple are elsewhere right now. Um, I might bring them back over here just to show you guys that I am an XRP holder still. Um, I like to show you guys and not just tell you. So I might show you my wallet with my XRP in it. We'll see. Um, I, I might save that for my Patreon um, customers as soon as the channel starts getting a little bigger. Um, we're probably going to have people to pay for my advice and um, pay for you know my Patreon to get some of these you know 10 to 100x altcoins that I see at the exact moment like I did with Clover. If you followed me out on Clover... Um, you would have made a lot of money or if you followed me on AMP or Anchor or even Cardano back in the day. I mean, I have so many altcoin gems that I have called at the perfect moment and I have made thousands and thousands of dollars off of them. Not as much as I've made off of Bitcoin because I didn't, you know, uh, basically invest more in Bitcoin. I invested five grand into it. So um, I didn't invest five grand in any altcoin. <laughs> um, I did have $10,000 worth of GERT at one point, the GERT, the graph. But I only made like a couple hundred dollar profit and then I was like, nope, back to Bitcoin because that was actually my Bitcoin. I turned to the graph for a little while. And so, um, yeah, guys, so I keep some over here. You see, I have a Stellar because that's you have to have at least one. And um, yeah, so I have $58 here. And then like I'm always going to show you at the beginning of the videos or sometimes not the beginning of every video, but um, sometimes I'll do a short about it or sometimes I will include it in with the video like this one. So, yeah, not looking the best today, right? We're down to 9,234, which is still the same amount of Bitcoin in there. Like I said, I have Bitcoin elsewhere, not just in my Garda wallet. I have actually Bitcoin in several different places. Um, so this is just my, my main one. I think I have about 2.25 uh, altogether. Maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. I'm not 100% sure. I will probably end up adding it up. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep track of this as my Bitcoin grows and as the dollar value grows. Because just because we have this little pullback and I didn't think we were going to have to, um, but I guess we do, we um, are going to retrace up to higher, higher, new highs, um, all-time highs by December, uh, by November. Okay, that might happen before that. Um, it isn't necessarily exact. Um, on the timing, but we are about to feel the effects of the supply and demand and especially all the institutional involvement now before the having effect. Woo -wee. That's why we start going back up right now. That's why this bull cycle, this super cycle, you hear me call it that. It's a super cycle. It's a super phase that Bitcoin is entering to the first time ever. You didn't know that, did you? Yeah, this is the first super phase that Bitcoin has ever had. Okay, you can say that we had it back in 20, you know, 13 and 2017. Those were many phases, right? And then 2017 was a phase. Let's say before that was a mini phase. Then we have a phase 2017 that got all the way to 20,000. And now we're in a super phase, right? And that means that we have a huge, huge supply and demand pattern of every four years that takes an effect around 18 months after the happening each and every time, except this time it is coupled with institutional investment as um, Bitcoin becoming a store um, for hedge. Um, against inflation with the US dollar and other monetary systems facing the effect of the coronavirus and the aftermath and all these people losing their jobs. But also on the plus side of that, 
when Americans got their stimulus checks, a lot of them were able to invest in Bitcoin and 90% of the people that spent their stimulus check on Bitcoin that sold within like a week or a month, every single one made money. Because when they gave out the stimulus checks and depending on when you got yours, if you got yours right around the first part of when they were handing them out, then if you would have invested in Bitcoin at that time, you would have been in the profit, right? As long as you sold before it went from 65,000 down. But say if you bought, I think it was right around like uh, 20,000 the first stimulus check. Yeah, I think it was right around 15 or 20,000 when the first stimulus check came. So we have not seen 50 or 20,000 since then. We haven't gone back down to that level. So if any of you bought with the first stimulus check Bitcoin, you would be in the profit even right now, even after Bitcoin halved in price, right? From 65 down to 30,000, more than half, like more about 53% it went down. Can you believe that Bitcoin went down 53%, but it still isn't as low as uh, <laughs> last year and before the stimulus checks. So even if you got it on the second stimulus check, you would be in the profit. I think all of them except the third one. Now I could be wrong. The third one might be in profit as well, but I think that one might've came out the $40,000 level or maybe even higher, like 50,000. So I'm not sure if the last one coincided with a low Bitcoin price. Um, but every time the stimulus check came out, the price of Bitcoin would pump after that. So you would have had a chance to do that. And if we're getting a fourth stimulus check, all during this super cycle. Oh my gosh, guys. How can you not be as excited as I am about this? Because if you see the implications for that, you would be buying as much Bitcoin as you could afford right now. Not financial advice and never put more into the market than you could spend, uh, so, you know, afford to lose at that time or that you can afford to spend. So say you, you put $100 in there, but really you should only put 80 because that other $20 you might need to take out later. Well, just put 70 in then. You know, like, yeah, keep the, the extra $20 you want, but maybe have 10 extra bucks. Like, just be careful. What I'm saying, not financial advice, like breaking down the money, but just be careful is what I'm saying. Don't put too much in there where it's going to hurt your daily life, right? So that's how you're going to keep your Bitcoin in there and not have to be like, well, now I need to sell it because I need milk and detergent, right? So just make sure that you're not using your, your food money or your, your household supply money or rent, especially. Never. Ne please guys i'm begging you never ever 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 use your rent money to buy bitcoin never 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 not even if you know not even if amazon well never not even if amazon just bought bitcoin never okay we're not wavering from that you should not ever 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 use your rent money for bitcoin so, um, but yeah, extra money taking like five, 10 bucks, every paycheck. That's how you do it. Dollar cost average. And you will not lose. If you are able to just put that money aside, how could you lose every four years? The price goes up. It's built into the system. Nobody who, ha who has held Bitcoin for four years has lost money. Even if you bought at the top, okay, you could have bought Bitcoin at the very top of the market in 2017 at $20,000. Well, guess what? If you did that, you're in the profit right now. <laughs> the people that are like, oh, my life is ruined. I bought Bitcoin at 20,000. I'm a loser. Well, for one, you're not a loser. You know, you're a good person. Just know that you, you're a good person right there. <laughs> no, for real, you guys are awesome. Thank you for watching the channel and just know that you're loved by God, by me. Yeah. Anyways, uh, unless you're a thief or a scammer, then you're only loved by God. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to get into that because I don't even know if God loves thieves and scammers. Only if they change. You got to repent. Okay. Anyways, guys, let's um, go in and see what exactly is happening in the world of crypto. So um, getting to the news now, this is some really interesting stuff and I'm glad I found this for you guys um, because where is it? Where is it? Oh, right here. Do you see what I see here, guys? Sandwich shop Quiznos is accepting Bitcoin. What? <laughs> okay, now, now I'm starting to freak out, guys, because guess what? If Quiznos is accept accepting Bitcoin, 
guess who's next to embrace Bitcoin? Any guesses? Come on. Come on. He was a really big dude once. And he ate nothing but sandwiches and shrunk down. Any guesses? Quiznos. All right, I'm going to tell you. Subway. You know, if Quiznos is thinking about or is accepting Bitcoin, we'll go in and look at that here in a minute. If Quiznos is accepting Bitcoin, well, the logical next place it's going to do it to compete with Quiznos. And they've always basically outcompeted and outperformed every sandwich shop in the world. Um, Subway and Jared, right? So I don't know if that name is copyrighted, but uh, I lost all that weight too, but I used Pepsi. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Pepsi does not help you lose weight. <laughs> it probably helps you gain weight. Um, I'm just playing. So, uh, but this is so awesome. If places like freaking Quiznos are going to start accepting Bitcoin, like I have said in my videos is what's going to happen that you could go to the grocery store and buy food with Bitcoin and they'll accept Bitcoin. Well, I mean, they already have Bitcoin credit cards that turns it into cash. But what this is, it's gonna be actual um, Bitcoin. So you can go in there with your Bitcoin and pay for a sandwich with Bitcoin. Oh my gosh, dude. Because a couple years ago, you couldn't even buy Bitcoin at a Bitcoin convention, right? You're like, how do I buy Bitcoin? <laughs> <laughs> and you go to a Bitcoin convention thinking you're going to buy Bitcoin and there's no way to buy Bitcoin. No, I'm just kidding. That's, that's a joke. But uh, Quiznos teamed up with BACT to pioneer a new and innovative payment method for customers to purchase their next meal with Bitcoin. What? Oh my goodness. This is so freaking cool, guys. I mean, this made my day. I was having kind of a rough day until, <laughs> until I saw this. Oh man, this made my day. Gosh, what little things can make us happy, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, American fast food restaurant chain Quiznos has announced that it will soon allow its customers to pay for meals with Bitcoin. Thanks to a new partnership with digital asset marketplace Backed Holdings. See guys, this is why I was telling you and I started this channel, right? Is so that I could get the word of Bitcoin out to people before places like Quiznos got on board, before places like MicroStrategy got on board, before places like Tesla got on board. Remember, we were making videos before that, or I was at least buying Bitcoin before that. I don't know if I was making videos. I think I started making videos after Tesla, so I'm sorry guys. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Um, I was kind of scared to do YouTube videos at the time. I didn't know if I was smart enough. I didn't know if I'd be able to talk. I didn't know if I was funny enough. I know I'm funny looking enough, right? <laughs> but I didn't know if I had what it t takes to be like a successful crypto YouTuber. Well, you guys changed my mind on that by how much support you've given me on this channel. And especially with certain videos that I've done. Um, some of my shorts have really, really taken off. So um, they don't normally show up in the notifications if you guys um, make sure to hit that notification bell, but you won't be able to um, watch the shorts with the notification. So if you want to go into the home page of the Bitcoin Renegade um, YouTube channel and then go down to shorts, I bet there's a bunch of them that you haven't seen and they have done some of the best. Um, lately, you know, they get between five and 700 views and that's cause you guys are awesome. Um, even people that don't subscribe to my channel have been really watching those and I've gotten a lot of new subscribers. So thank you guys for that. Um, you that are watching me from over there that came to subscribe to the channel through shorts. Now, if you guys hit that like button, I will definitely come out with more, um, interesting giveaways and contests because what sponsors want to see from this channel especially, is you guys smashing the like button up to all time highs. So if we get the, the like buttons up to like say 30 likes per video, so we're at about 10 to 15 likes per video. If we could get to 20 to 30 likes per video from now on, then the sponsors are gonna start to get really interested because you guys are interacting. And it does the same thing with comments. When you guys comment down below, the sponsors notice that. So the thumbs up helps um, and that way I can give you guys more money. I can make better videos. I'm already buying better equipment. Um, I have a lamp that's on the way, which I mean, it's not huge, but it's something, right? It's a start to building the, the brand, to sustaining the brand, right? We're in the growth stage right now. So what I need next is a new laptop. 
and I'm really trying to figure out the domain name because that is one of the things that I really need um, for for this you know endeavor, this um, entrepreneurship that I am doing. I need a website. So um, yeah, I, I'm gonna need you guys to help smash up the likes and uh, comment to get those because then we get sponsors, they help pay me. That way I can pass some of the money back onto you and to the channel as well. Now, if you just wanna um, help the channel by you know Bitcoin or whatever, there is a Bitcoin address in the description below. And all of that money that goes into that Bitcoin wallet um, besides what I have in there now, I will, you know, make a, a, a ledger of what's in there now. And if any money is added to that, every single penny, not even a little bit goes towards gas fees or anything. I pay the gas fees out of my own pocket, but all of your money that you donate to the channel or support the channel with, I don't like the word donate, that you support the channel with makes you part of the, the community channel. And basically, you know, not really a co-owner, but a co-founder, right? Because because you guys are investing in me in the channel and so you have a stake in the game and you you know like and and I'm gonna give that guy props a n a n d and and that guy put up 3,000 Bitcoin Satoshis that my video would have 20 viewers on at once we ended up dropping that number down to 15 and guess what because of him and the awesome people that all got involved in the video we did it we had 15, actually we got up to 17 concurrent views at the same exact time. So that's what's really cool about it is um, we, we hit our target and I doubled what Anand um, put up, which I can't thank him enough. That is freaking awesome. Him and Northside Jeff are the two donors so far for the channel, and I just thank them so much. I got to give props to Venice Joy for always sharing the videos, always being there, and Marcos and Gracie and Insomniac and CN Rush and... Um, Shankar, uh, Sahan Vishwantha, we got um, uh, my friend Mike from the Philippines, um, we got, let's see, I don't want to forget anybody, uh, all of you guys, if I forgot somebody, I'm sorry, you guys are awesome, um, uh, Askio, we got freaking um, the new guy, uh, what was his name, Paul, uh, Paul, yeah, his name is Paul, and then we got, uh, Madrid, we have, um, Malkadova, I know I'm probably really, really, um, doing bad on these names, but yeah, so all of you guys, and gosh, I know I'm forgetting people already, oh yeah, Prime, thanks for coming over, um, Athethos from coming over, from Express Crypto, um, Let's see who else was over here last night. Um, gosh, I know I'm forgetting people, but I will get you in the next video if I forgot you. But let's talk more about this Bitcoin and what is going on with freaking Quiznos, right? According to a press release published today, Quiznos will tap Bact's digital wallet service, dubbed Bact App, to roll out the new crypto payment options in mid-August. So buy the rumors, sell the news, right? So the news will be happening in two weeks. And this is another thing that is saying that Bitcoin price is probably gonna go up in the near term. This is what you look for is the good news that comes with good market you know, health. So, and the Bitcoin market is looking quite healthy today. Even though we've had a retracement, that is a healthy, healthy, healthy sign. Okay, I didn't want it to go back into the $30,000 levels. And in my opinion, this didn't need to happen. We could have just went to 40 and then kept going. But the bears are a little bit stronger than we thought. They must have got their strength back from the $30,000 level. You know, because it changes. Like, yeah, they were tired down at 30,000. But then the bear, the bulls get kind of tired up at 42,000. So at least we're not getting tired at 40,000 though. We've raised the level. And the more times we go up to hit that level, it's like a jackhammer, right? Except to the upside, right? We're, we're jackhammering the roof or um, it, like a, a WWE turn. We're reaching for that brass ring or we're breaking through that glass ceiling. Whatever we're doing, we're, we're breaking new ground. 
We are being the first to talk about it in this community. We're the first ones to invest our money in Bitcoin, which means we are going to be the ones that reap the rewards. Now, it sucks not having millions of dollars to be able to invest, you know, because if I had a million dollars, I could turn it into $10 million, right? If I had 100,000, I could turn it into a million. I mean, if I had 10,000, I could turn it to 20,000. Well, wait a minute. I do have 2.25 Bitcoin. Okay, have I turned 10,000 into 20,000? Once? Wait, did he do it twice? Can he do it a third time? That's what we're gonna see, guys. Can I turn 10,000 into 20,000 three times in one year? Well, the answer to that is no. But in two years? Yes, and maybe even more. May I'm gonna try to turn 10 into 20 two more times this year, okay? Before the end of 2021, I will make $10,000 two more times with Bitcoin, okay? And I'm gonna show you over time that, that the cool thing that I can show you in this channel is what diamond hands do and how they pay off, okay? If, if I hit the right light, you can see my hands glisten, okay? I'm serious, diamond hands, they've been through the fire already already they have been compressed over years and years of holding actually one year of holding but one year is a long time in bitcoin world right because bitcoin has only been alive for 12 years so it's like basically it was a year right every month is a year um if you looked at that in bitcoin it's only been alive for 12 consecutive years so yeah, it's still very, very young and it has so much room to grow. I believe that the price target, and I was looking at the stock to flow model that a lot of people talk about. Guess where that goes to? One million dollars. Like that's the exact price target of the stock to flow model if you look at it. So I really think that Bitcoin is heading for a million dollars and I think that's probably going to happen in the next 10 or 20 years. Uh, maybe before that, but uh, we might end up with a lot of regulation um, snafus. We might have a little bit of problems on that end um, with getting the government on board and fixing it into our monetary system, being able to tax Bitcoin the way that the government wants to. <laughs> if that doesn't happen, then they might ban Bitcoin and Bitcoin could become illegal. And if that happens, Bitcoin is not going to zero, but it will drop probably into the low thousands, honestly. And I don't ever want to see that happen. So American government, you have a big task in front of you. Learn how to regulate Bitcoin without destroying it. Ready? Go. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, 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 I hope there's some smart people that will advocate for crypto within the political community. That's what I hope. I'm not too into politics, but maybe we will. Maybe Bitcoin renegade for president, baby. No. <laughs> Do you think I could be president by the time I'm 55 or 60? Actually, there's no way I could be president. Why? Because I'm actually from the moon, baby. I can't be the president unless I'm from the United States and I'm from the moon, baby. So, yeah, there's a conflict of interest there. I am definitely a moon <laughs> my my ID says address the moon and how did I get there well I rode Bitcoin all the way to the moon baby <laughs> uh, Quiznos has announced that it will allow its customers to pay for meals with Bitcoin you know because of bat what according to a press release published today uh, at several locations across Denver so they already have them what Oh, in mid-August. Okay. Sorry. I, I, yeah, I got mixed up in where I was. So uh, this is what's going on, basically. I'll, I'll break it down to you. Um, a press release came out today about Quiznos um, partnering with Back Digital Wallet. And they are going to, in mid-August, roll out uh, payment in Bitcoin at Quiznos across Denver, um, including the local airport Quiznos. 
So that's pretty cool. A lot of areas are they're starting in Denver, which I'm thinking that backed app must be like a Denver company um, or the community there was okay with it. I'm not 100% sure, um, but if Denver did it, the next logical place to have Quiznos um, take Bitcoin would be Seattle, right? Because we have a lot of the same uh, political you know, mindset that uh, Denver has when it comes to certain things. And I think especially Bitcoin. So partnering with an innovative platform such as Bact is appealing for us for a number of reasons, primarily because it allows us to accept Bitcoin directly at the point of sale as part of a quick and seamless transaction. Now, if they could do that and make it sound, uh, make it, you know, do exactly how it sounds. And that is the one spicy meat the ball. You know, that's freaking awesome, dude. So noted Mark Lohman, president of Quiznos parent company, REGO, restaurant group. So in the announcement, <laughs> I read that really bad, sorry. <laughs> Uh, per the release, customers who download backed app, buy some Bitcoin and use it to purchase a meal at Quiznos will also receive $15 worth of Bitcoin as a reward. What? No way, dude. Now I really wish I worked. I uh, lived in Denver, Colorado, baby. Dang it. I want $15 Bitcoin as reward. I know you can only use it probably at Quiznos, but still, that would be awesome to not only pay for my sandwich in Bitcoin, but get $15 of Bitcoin to buy another sandwich later. Or maybe even be able to withdraw that $15 of Bitcoin to my wallet. I don't know. This is exciting, though. I'd like to find this out. However, the companies did not clarify whether existing app users will also be eligible for the rewards. So I guess it's only for new customers, right? So while the initial rollout will be limited to the Denver area, oh man, that was a gut punch. Ooh. Oh, it hurts, it hurts. <laughs> but yeah, no, that sucks, it's only in Denver. But uh, the companies could potentially expand the new crypto payment service across other parts of the US as well. Booyah, this is cool. Maybe, 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 just maybe, it will come to Seattle, baby, right? Let's get it. Uh, we will closely watch how this pilot performs with the potential to expand the partnership to additional Quiznos locations across the country, added Sheila Zimlin, Chief Revenue Officer at BACT. This is so freaking cool. And we're going to go look into that as well, guys. I'm going to see if I can't um, download this backed app and just to see what it looks like. You guys want to take that journey with me real quick? I mean, we might as well. Let's do it. Uh, let's go over to the Google Play Store. It's called backed app. Okay. So Google Play Store right here. And then it's called backed app okay and there it is look at that backed mobile guys okay let's make my screen a little smaller um combined send and spend digital assets like crypto and loyalty points in one place wow this is pretty cool guys and gals because now i have a nice female audience of like uh 20 percent female 20.5%. I looked at that last night. Thank you, ladies. Um, I should have my teeth fixed here in the next week or so. So if uh, you ladies are looking for an eligible bachelor, you know, to come decorate my bare walls. <laughs> I'm not a decorator. I'm sorry. <laughs> but hit me up over there on eHarmony, right? Um, yeah, that's the only dating app I'm on. I don't use Tinder because I'm a Christian. And that's why it's hard. Like, I used to you know, always have a girlfriend until I became a Christian. And then uh, it became harder because I only date Christian women now. So, um, but yeah, that being said, uh, most Christian women just want to be friends or they like to be friends first. And I'm into dating. 
that's how you know most of the women i've dated have you know been at you know like just friends gatherings you know and we hang out and then you know we like each other boom i've never really done dating in the traditional sense where you wine and dine you take them out to dinners and meals and you know so i don't do well with that kind of stuff and so they don't really get to know who i am and therefore they miss out on something that could be awesome because it's hard for me to open up to women so hopefully some women can just watch this channel get to see the real me and then know that if i don't you know warm up to you in the first day that it's okay that that's in me that it's in there you just might have to work for it a little bit you know to get me to open up to you and it's the same with you like i know i have to work at getting to know you as well i'm not using this as like a dating app right now but you know it is what it is i like to you know uh kind of use this as a little form of therapy for me at times as well and for you if i can right you know this kind of thing helps so let's install this app i should have been doing that the whole time that i was talking so but um so that was pretty fun while we waited um let's open this i know i walked a lot this video i try to keep that to a minimum in my videos especially the <laughs> spinning around part Ooh, now i'm dizzy um so this is back right they have gift cards rewards crypto cash um combine trade send and spend your digital assets in new ways so let's go ahead and create an account here. Um, not going to do that. Let's pause real quick. So I uh, downloaded all my information. It asks you for your phone number, your address, and then it asks you to enable your location. I denied that. Do not um, allow these people access to your phone, your location. Don't trust companies like that. You will get harassed. They will sell your phone number. You know, most of these places will. So just know that before you sign up for anything like this. Um, I get harassing phone calls all the time. So just to let you know, that can happen. I don't think this company um, is directly doing that, but you never know. So start buying crypto. Um, I guess my account is not set up. I'll have to do all of this stuff. Uh, add an email address, link bank account, deposit cash, add a rewards program, buy Bitcoin, and then buy a gift card. So this is what I would do, you know, if I wanted to buy Quiznos. Um, so the rewards, I don't know how that's all set up. You'd probably have to add the, yeah, the Quiznos one. Uh, where is it? Look at all these that you can get rewards on. I don't know where the Quiznos one probably isn't coming out until uh, I would believe, you know, mid-August when they said. So um, there you go, guys. So you can convert your points into cash. Um, yeah, so this is pretty cool. You get a backed card um they have activity whatever more uh bitcoin renegade yep you got my stuff over here um uh, yeah so all right that's pretty cool you know uh i wanted to share that with you guys and i think that's about all the news that i have for the day uh let's go look at the bitcoin again one more time before we leave and see if anything magnificent has happened um thumbnail please thank you um okay let's go in here did it go up or down oh okay well it went up just a little bit <laughs> not a lot we're actually kind of sitting right where we were at the beginning of the live stream all right guys that being said you know what time it is goodbye and good bitcoin